Hi, I'm looking for Mr. Sunshine. Are we canvassing today? Down the hall, through the office, take a left, another left, first door on the right. Gotcha. Thank you. Velvet no. We can no. get the chain. Or Nike Tech. Look at the left arm, dumbass. I swear to God. Hey, yeah, David. I promise. You can't see it. Oh, shit. Chris, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, Christopher. Yeah, well, I'm going to call you Chris. I'll be your manager. Name's David. We'll work on that. Come on. We're going to drive out to the fields. So, this is my binder. You'll get yours soon. Always make sure it's on you every time you go door to door. Keep it safe because your binder is your best friend. It is your life. You must master it as you must master your life. Without you, your binder is useless. Full Metal Jacket, man. You've seen Full Metal Jacket, right? Is that the one where the guy kills himself? Bingo. Great movie. Anyways. Your binder holds all the information in it, or if a customer asks you a tricky question, just open your binder and hand them a flyer. Assuming you know what we sell, right? Solar panels. Right again, you know why we sell them. Uh, to help people? Sure, Chris, we like to help people. Bottom line is we sell to make money. <laughs> How long you guys been in here? <laughs> no idea, man. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Don't let you smell like Kush your first day on the job. Chris, this is Tweedle Dick and Tweedle Doobie. What's up, guys? Hey, man. I'm Luke. <laughs> uh, I'm Luke. Wait, no, you're not Luke. I'm Luke. <laughs> oh, fuck, my bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking up fuck right it. now. Hey, it's okay, man. I don't, I don't believe you. He's Shane, and uh, stupid uh, as they uh, might sound, they're actually pretty good at their job. <laughs> but the next time you two decide to hotbox my car without me before work, make sure it's not someone's first day. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Whoa. Mr. Boss, man. We'll make sure to smoke with you next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, facts you need to know about solar energy. Yes, it's renewable. Yes, it's better for the environment. Yeah, it helps save money, but only over an extended period of time. 20 years, average household will save about $25,000 in utility costs. However, after installation and upkeep, this number goes down to about $10,000. Sometimes more, sometimes less. This average is out to about 500 bucks a year, which isn't nothing, you know? But for the people who actually buy this stuff, they don't really need 500 bucks a year. So, why am I telling you this? Because you need to know that for pretty much everyone you will be talking to, it is in no way worth it to switch to solar panels. That leads me to my first rule in pitching customers at the door. Never lead with the selling point of them saving money. In fact, when capable, don't even talk about it. Instead, talk about the environment. I mean, everyone wants to contribute to saving the earth, right? Depending on the cost and effort it might take, sure. Lucky for us, though, we don't actually make the sale. That's what the actual salesmen are for. All we got to do is get their name, number, and address in order to get paid. We get paid 15 an hour, and on top of that, we get 35 for every contact we get. We also get 1% commission for every sale made. Shit adds up, Chris. grand a year. That's not even counting the 1% commission you'll probably get. How old are you, Chris? 19. How many 19 year olds do you know making 50 grand a year? Uh, That's what I thought. I'll text you guys the streets to knock hit me up if y'all need a break.
Yeah, here it looks good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you want to roll the first one or should I? Uh, you got it. All right, Chris, name of the game is pretty straightforward. Guilt trip these homeowners about saving the environment until they give you their name and number and go on about your day and do it again. It's pretty easy, I'll show you real quick. Watch and learn. How you doing today, sir? What the fuck do you want? My name's David. This is Chris. He's gonna be watching me today, and we're with our company, Mr. Sunshine. Mr. Sunshine? What the fuck is a Mr. Sunshine? We sell solar panels to help power your home. Do I look like I need goddamn solar panels? Look at my fucking yard. Why don't you mow my grass? Get the fuck out of here. That also happens a lot, but you'll get used to it. On to the next. Fucking bitch. Not gonna lie, man. It's been a pretty shit first day for you. We'll knock one or two more and then call it. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. Fuck this. What's going on, guys? Hello, sir. I'm sorry. We thought nobody was home. My name is David. This is Chris. We're here with our company, Mr. Sunshine. How you doing today? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. Just another day. I'm Bernard. Well, what can I do for you guys? We're here with our company, Mr. Sunshine. Oh, man, you two look exhausted. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've been out here since about two. Can't say you're wrong. Oh, man. You know, come on in, you know, take a break. I'll, I'll get you guys some waters. Welcome to my home, gentlemen. You know, here's the living room. If you guys want to take a seat somewhere, it's up to you. Whatever your decision is, you know, it's whatever you're feeling. Hey, this is you and your wife? Yeah. It's me and Beth. She is sadly no longer with us. May she rest in peace. I miss her every day. <laughs> Car accident. 
drunk driver took my wife and <laughs> left me with a bum leg. Yeah. Well, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> um, anyway, do um, you guys uh, want any waters? Maybe a snack? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? That, that'd be great. Thank you. No problem. You know? uh, take a seat, guys. I'll be right back. All right, this could be our first contact of the day. Let me do the talking, and if he asks you anything, you're training and observing me. Got it? Got it. Good. That's it. This guy knows how to party, huh? Oh, yeah. Alrighty, fellas. Got you a couple bottles of water. And I got the best snack in the world. Sweet baby dills! You guys like baby dills, right? Of course, man. Who doesn't? Uh, I'm just training and observing David today. I mean, yeah, they're all right. I guess to each their own, right? <laughs> so, sir, let's talk business. I love baby dills. I just love them. I gotta have a jar of baby dills for every meal for the rest of my life. It's just what that first crunch can do to a man. It's so sour. Salty, bitter, and somehow sweet. <laughs> they just. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. No. Oh. That's. That shit! Here. Have one. Come on. Don't be shy. Good. Oh, right? Oh, yeah. Great, even. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah! Can I ask why you like them so much? I just told you. <laughs> but also, because that's how me and my wife met. We were both broke college students, trying to pinch pennies in any way possible, especially at the grocery store. I had a cart full of baby dills. I mean, they're such a bang for your buck. Well. Everyone thought I was crazy. And even though I was used to it, there was still a part of me that wanted to be understood. And I looked at it like I was a weirdo. But then, as I'm turning a corner, I run into someone. Beth. And what do you know? She also has a cart full of baby dills. Do you like pickles? Yeah. And the rest is history. Anyway, <laughs> sorry guys, you got me going about pickles. <laughs> oh, uh, what do you got to tell me? Yes, let's talk business. Let me ask you something. Does the way humans treat the earth, our one and only home, upset you at all? 
Yeah. I suppose. Well, I... I certainly don't like it. Exactly. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever heard of solar energy? Yeah, no, like solar panels. Exactly, that's right. And that's what our company, Mr. Sunshine, is all about. Solar energy is a revolutionary new idea that uses the sun to power your homes instead of polluting the earth for energy. Now, by talking to us today, we can actually offer... <laughs> <laughs> that's a, it's a furnace acting up. Um, anyways, continue. so we can. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> yeah, no, he was supposed to be um, asleep still. Should we call the cops? Uh, fuck you. Whoa. Take it easy, man. Relax. Oh, fuck you. You pushed me back down his couch. You, you fucking pussy booger. What did you just call me? Shut up. First you had me walking around here all day, getting door slammed in my face, and then the one house that we actually go inside to, you pushed me back down to his couch to get taken by a pickle fucking freak. You know what, David? I quit. Did <laughs> you just call me a pussy fucker? You think that's funny? Look. <laughs> what the fuck? Pickle porn? Up <laughs> yours, man. I'm calling the cops. Holy shit. <laughs> he actually fucks these things. No, no, no. <laughs> they fuck him. <laughs> man, I thought that was gonna be a sale, too. Boy, was I wrong. Hello? Yes, we're on. We're in Anthony Street. Some guy just tried to abduct us. Shit. Oh, shit. Yes, and we also need an ambulance. My friend keeps going in and out of consciousness. Yes. Yes. How long? How's... 1119. On Anthony Street. Correct. David. You okay, man? You called me your friend. What? Dude, are you okay? I knew those pickles tasted funny. Takes me back to the good old days. Look, Chris. I had a great time today. You're a pretty kick-ass... Dude. Thanks, man. Yeah. Okay, I can start to knock up some doors and see if I need to come out. Okay. Thanks. David, seriously, are you okay? Seriously, bro? You're like so awesome and cool. I'm so glad we became friends today. Keep doing this. I'm gonna see if anyone can help us. Yeah, you go knock on those doors, man. Knocking, knocking, nicking, knocking, knocking, knocking.
Hey. Uh, where do you think they are? I don't know.